Um, let's go on to the second question. Is Donkey Kong a kaiju? Yes. No. Uh, I when he is big, <laughs> I would big, say when, yes. When but is no. he big? <laughs> what is he Donkey big? Kong? He no. can take a mushroom and smash. I guess oh, I guess anyone the, the can. Everybody though. is. All yeah. right. Then, okay. then Meat Gunner is a kaiju. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. It's difficult because kaiju kaiju just literally means like strange beast, right? That just it's just like strange creature. Or strange is that what it literally translates to? Uh, essentially, yeah. But so I mean, I don't know. I guess Donkey yeah. Kong isn't that strange to me, to be honest. He's just a yeah. big monkey. I yeah. I would I would, I would ra- kaiju. He's strange. I would rather go to like bowser for being a kaiju because yeah. there's been plenty yeah. of times where he's like fucking gigantic he's pretty strange is ultraman technically a kaiju or because he's human is that like different i don't know is he a creature i wouldn't describe ultraman as a creature okay huh. yeah, i'm not trying maybe, to be like a maybe shit. i Literally, will i'm curious <laughs> <laughs> but like as far as i understand kaiju don't actually have to be big they can be like regular size mm, okay as as they're weird so just like a scary dog can be a kaiju. Yeah, they're just did any- mostly big. Did anyone here ever play Donkey Kong Jungle Beat? I or not, not where, where like, you're just going around beating the, the shit like, out of like fucking Bongo? kaiju. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember, I remember that. <laughs> it's I remember it's like the, the entire game. It just <laughs> it all revolves Bongo. around like beating the shit out of other giant apes, and like you go to space and fight one on a fucking meteor falling towards Earth, it's and it's. Like- and it like all depends on how fast you hit you, you like hit the bongos. Uh, dude, I felt so bad for my parents when I'd want to play that shit like fucking seven in the morning. They're like, "Oh my god, dude, shut the fuck up!" I'm like, but I need to beat up the fuck. It's like it- my old arcade stick when I played Street Fighter Four was really, really loud. <laughs> really loud. Uh, n- next question: Is Mario a war criminal? Mm, I think. I mean. I mean, has he it, has I he mean, broken any laws? Has he broken any Geneva Convention laws? Like I I think it's well, pretty no. messed up that like a Goomba can like touch him and like Mario overreacts and jumps off the screen, whereas Mario will just like stomp on him and poof him out of existence. I think that's pretty fucked up. Well, if you recall, I forget who said this. Rem can probably elaborate more. But if I recall, isn't it that Mario, it's all fake? It's, they're all actors and they're just having fun. They're just that's playing th- games that's together. That's the third one. True. No, I that's, thought that's, that was that's all the, of uh, Mario. No, yeah, that's the um, that's the that's what uh, Miyamoto said. That's his idea, and that's yeah. why when you when you play like like uh, Mario like Mario Kart and all that, that's all of them like done with the play together, just having fun. Yeah. Now they're just having fun. I think. Yeah, just, I think Miyamoto's whitewashing some some war crimes right there. Uh, maybe. Oh my god! Wow, it, he's not it, the composer for Dragon Quest. Thank you. Is uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Mesa, you win. Oh my god! The, the the title of tonight's podcast is Mesa wins. <laughs> is uh, is it a war crime to light people on fire? Yes. Um, I'm I would sure. think it is. I'm is not it familiar with all the Geneva team. Conventions, but I'm going to go out on a limb and I say, guess, yeah. Oh, I mean, so Lakitu drops spinies, right? Yeah. So I guess if you were to, like, hit them out the sky with, with like, a star, that's, like, against the Geneva Convention, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. I guess maybe I guess maybe I guess you can consider like a cloud to be one big parachute. And so just like killing Lakitu in general is also part of it. Lakitu I mean, is like actively trying to kill you though. I don't I don't know if there's some clause or something to the Geneva Convention. I'm not um uh, uh, uh I don't I don't know the convention that well. So like if someone's just hanging It's not a con I go to. Gear, it's not a con I go to. It's a war crime to kill them. <laughs> Is it a war crime in, in co-op <laughs> Mario games to toss your teammates off the edge? No. No? It's not a war crime. No. That's just, not that's just a regular crime. <laughs> yeah, it's just a regular crime. <laughs> humanitarian yeah. crime. Human is human and hum Humanitarian. That's it. I don't like That's this question because we already know that Mario is not human. Is he? Uh, he's not a human being. He's a he, plumber. He doesn't have yeah. nipples. His species is plumber. Just like oh, yeah, they took his, they sanded his nipples. It's terrible. 
Isn't that like considered bodily torture? Maybe that's why okay. he's so upset all the time. <laughs> so new question: they, Has they Peach upset violated his spaghetti. the Geneva Convention? Oh God! <laughs> Is Peach a despot? Huh? Ooh, I don't know. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. We don't. I mean, we the don't Peach from Origami King is definitely a despot in the making, but I didn't finish that game yet. I mean, isn't her one of her specials in Smash literally just to hold up Toad, aka her servant, to like take attacks for her? Yeah. Yes. That's she also hits up. you. She also hits you with her uh, booty as well. Well, wow. so I mean, that yeah, thing's a deadly a weapon. Crime. That thing's a deadly weapon. All I'm saying is, we don't know the situation <laughs> with the Mushroom Kingdom. We don't know the political intrigue and discourse. Yeah. All we know that the, it could have been a socialist utopia before Peach came if, in with the backing of the CIA. If if we go by the logic of <laughs> Mario and Luigi partners in time, she, time, she literally sends babies to go fight wars for her. So, that's fucked up. Yeah, exactly. You get a little little, a, little toad right into there. You could write <laughs> a lot of has, BG Cats comics about this. She oh, also God, I haven't thought about that in ghost. years, Ralph. <laughs> she also has I mean, ghosts we, we, living in her house, so I mean, that's also like incredibly sketchy. She also knows a I mean, star named Twink. Yep. It's a, Wait, it's is a, that a thing? A castle. Wait, what game is that from? What, Twink? Yeah. That's from fucking Paper Mario 1. Oh, oh shit, I never played oh, Paper Mario yeah, 1. Oh, you're you right. Oh, my God, that is his name. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, you know. It's kind of weird, because, I mean, that is definitely a baby star. So it's like, hmm. Someone didn't think about this when they... Yeah, they def- this. De- there's no way that's intentional. There's no, no it was, way. It was a long time ago, all right? Internet was at its infancy. We're talking about N64 culture here. wasn't running rap. Oh my god. Someone, I just yeah. imagine if someone was like, they're trying to cancel Twink from Paper Mario. <laughs> Stop the censorship. Do you guys remember the, um, what well, was it, the uh, quote unquote hidden message of uh, Super Mario Galaxy that says, yeah. You are Mr. Oh, Gay? Mr. I, Gay. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. You are Mr. Gay. <laughs> it's, like, yeah. it's beautiful. Who could forget, You are Mr. Gay? No one cares. We all are Mr. Gay, honestly. The real Mr. Gay are the gays we made along the way. Mm. 